Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Tuesday, October the 22nd, 2019. Let's talk sports betting, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, first, in baseball, you know, Houston on paper is the better team, no question about it. It's a foregone conclusion that the winner of the Cy Young in the American League is going to be a Houston Astro. Right? They certainly did the job in Game 6 against the Yankees. Future Hall of Famer Altuve ended that series emphatically with a walk-off home run. But the narrative's gotten ahead of the facts, folks. Max Scherzer, the starter for the Nationals, is one of baseball's best pitchers. Has been for quite some time. Right? He's won the Cy Young Award. He's a future Hall of Famer. His team's better rested. Any time you can get Scherzer at a plus 170, I believe you need to take him. Let's be clear too, the Nationals have been really on a dominant run in this postseason after that wild card game. Right? They've been dominant. So you're getting a plus 170. I know they're on the road. I know they're going up against a pitcher who's been on a spectacular run himself in Cole. I get all that. Right? But a plus 170 is a plus 170. Right? When you have a dominant pitcher like this on the mound, there is, to me, as much a chance that he shuts down the Houston Astros as there is that Cole shuts down the Washington Nationals. This is an odds play. I like the Washington Nationals to win Game 1 of the World Series. Now let me be clear. This is a gambling video. I got absolutely crushed in the National Football League last week. Right Among my picks were the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Well, it's early in the week, right? The Monday night game was played yesterday. It's Tuesday. I like Philadelphia getting a point and a half over the Buffalo Bills. I know Philly's secondary is terrible. No question about it. I understand. There's been some finger pointing. Right, Lane Johnson claims that some guys aren't as motivated as they should be. That's being disputed by Malcolm Jenkins. I get it. I understand. Philly's below 500 as I make this video. I just don't think Josh Allen's going to be able to exploit Philadelphia's secondary. I just don't see him as the kind of accurate quarterback, experienced quarterback, who's going to be able to take advantage of the areas where Philly hasn't done well this season. I'm also still a believer in people like Carson Wentz. Right? I know Buffalo's defense is tough. I know Buffalo gave Tom Brady the biggest challenge this year. I get it. But I'm expecting Philly to bounce back. They weren't as bad a team as they looked against the Dallas Cowboys. I'm expecting Philly to bounce back in what really is a must-win game for them. I like Philly getting a point and a half over the Buffalo Bills. Right? I also like the New York Jets, who were just in a car crash on Monday Night Football on national television. Just got shut out. Sam Darnold, a historically bad performance. A lot of turnovers. But I'm expecting the Jets to cover the six points they're getting against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Folks, has anyone noticed that Jalen Ramsey got traded? Folks, the Jags have a young quarterback. They have a young quarterback. 
not Tom Brady. Right? Even if you believe the Jags should win this game, the game's in Jacksonville. Right? I just don't buy that, you know, the Jets, who beat the Cowboys earlier this year with Sam Darnold. Right? I just don't buy that the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Jets by more than six points. Right? Getting six points is a lot in the National Football League. Right? The Jets still have guys like Levy and Bell. I think the Jets are a much better team than they showed on Monday night. I think Bill Belichick is a guy who makes the other team look bad. Let's face it, right? I think Tom Brady has made a career of making the other team look bad. This week, as good as Minshew is, I just don't believe at this point in his young career he's Tom Brady. Right? I think the Jets get back in the saddle here. I think the Jets cover the six-point spread against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, you've been warned. I'm coming off a terrible week. Right? I'm someone who, in a video, will take three underdogs, as I've just done. But I do like the Washington Nationals at a plus 170 in Game 1 of the World Series. And I also like the Eagles getting a point and a half on the road in Buffalo and the Jets getting six points on the road in Jacksonville. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Um, leave your comments in the comment section whether you want to talk about the awful week I just had or whether you want to talk about this upcoming week in your picks. I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.